Hi, I'm Emily of British Girl Bakes, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build cakes using acetate to get perfectly neat, even layers of cake and filling that look great naked, or provide a smooth foundation for frosting and decorations. In part two of this tutorial, I'll show you how to decorate cakes using acetate to create vibrant, unique, and even gravity-defying designs. Start by preparing your fillings. These can be whatever you like, from fillings as simple as buttercream to very elaborate multiple layered fillings. For extra moist and flavorful layers, start with a flavored syrup. For example, for this first cake, I'm simmering cherries in water with a bit of sugar so that they thicken, and then when I drizzle the syrup over the cake, it will be absorbed into the layers to flavor and moisten them. Then prepare your other fillings. So here I'm using a whipped chocolate ganache and whipped cream as well. And I'll show you some more flavor ideas later in this tutorial. You can either cut your cakes out of a sheet cake or you can use round cakes. If you're cutting them out of a sheet cake, to minimize waste, you can cut two rounds out and then two semicircles and save the offcuts and I'll give you more details on this in a minute. Wrap a piece of acetate around the inside of the cake ring, or you can use a cake pan the same size as your cake. Press a cake board down into the bottom, and lower the first cake layer onto the cake board. Or if you've cut the cake out of a sheet cake, you can push the two semicircles of cake to the sides of the acetate, and fill the middle with the offcuts to make a layer. Get your fillings ready and bend a spoon so that the spoon is at right angles to the handle. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to see a new cake decorating tutorial every week. Alternate cake and fillings, using the bent spoon to spread the fillings all over the cake, right up to the acetate. It's tricky to push the cake layers into the acetate ring if the cakes are exactly the same size as the cake ring holding the acetate in place, but that's ideal. You want the cake to get right up to the acetate and the fillings as well, so that the sides of the cake are perfectly smooth later. Here I'm using chocolate ganache and whipped cream as fillings, but you can use whatever you like as long as it's thick enough to hold its shape within the cake after you remove the acetate. For example, this is a banana pudding cake, so I'm using banana cake layers, vanilla pudding, which is a thick custard, slices of banana, and then whipped cream. These cake layers were baked in a six inch cake pan instead of cutting them out of a sheet cake and I divided each layer in half horizontally to make four thinner layers. You could build the cake within a cake pan instead of a cake ring, but it's a bit more fiddly to get the cake out of it at the end. For a very simple filling, you can layer cake with buttercream, and here I'm using carrot cake with cream cheese frosting between the layers. I make my buttercream a bit less stiff than normal for these acetate wrapped cakes, because it's easier to spread it on as a filling within the acetate when it's soft. And it doesn't need to be stiff enough to stick up around the sides of the cake for frosting because you're only using it as a filling. To make it less stiff, just add a bit less sugar than usual. For this cake, I used six inch cake layers, and for this one, I used little four inch springform pans, and I'm using one of the rings of the pans to build the cake inside. If the acetate is too tall, it's tricky to arrange the cake layers, so you can trim it down to the height you estimate the final cake to be. After you've assembled your cake, cover it with cling film or saran wrap and put it in the fridge so that the fillings set and hold their shape. Meanwhile, you can prepare any toppings and decorations. For my chocolate cherry cake, I'm preparing a ganache drip and dipping some cherries into melted chocolate, and I'll show you a few decorating ideas in a minute. After your cake has been in the fridge for about an hour, the fillings should have set and you'll be able to lift the cake ring off the cake or push the cake up out of it and peel the acetate off around the cake. You can transfer the cake on its board onto a plate or a cake stand or attach the cake on its little cake board onto a bigger cake board with some masking tape. I'm applying a chocolate ganache drip to this one and then placing chocolate dipped cherries around the top and look how beautiful these layers look. You can see all of the filling ingredients even before you cut into the cake, and when you do cut into it, it looks so pretty with the insides matching the outside. But if you want to frost the cake, semi-naked frosting looks nice because you can apply it thinly enough so that you can still appreciate the neat, even layers underneath. And acetate is actually a really useful way to assemble a semi-naked cake because it makes sure the layers are completely straight on top of each other. 
so when you smooth the frosting, it will be the same thinness all over the sides of the cake. You can reuse acetate by washing it with soap and water and then letting it dry. So once you've built your cake with it, you can use the same acetate to decorate your cake. And I share six unique acetate decorating ideas in part two of this tutorial. Thanks for watching! Remember to click the thumbs up button and to subscribe to my channel for a new cake decorating tutorial every week.